Have you ever wondered how one of the greatest superpowers of the 20th century disintegrated? Stay tuned to the end to discover the fascinating history of the countries that emerged after the fall of the Soviet Union. In 1991, the Soviet Union, one of the greatest superpowers of the 20th century, dissolved, giving rise to 15 new countries. Today, we will explore these countries, their capitals, populations and some interesting facts that will surprise you. In December 1991, the Soviet Union collapsed due to a combination of economic, political and social factors. The political reforms known as Perestroika and Glasnost introduced by Mikhail Gorbachev, together with pressure from independence movements and the economic crisis, led to the dissolution of the USSR. Discover more about Perestroika and the reforms that reshaped history, check out the video linked in the description. This collapse resulted in the independence of 15 Soviet republics, transforming them into sovereign nations. Let's get to know each of them. We begin our journey with Russia, the largest country in the world by area. Its capital is Moscow and its population is approximately 146 million people. Lake Baikal in Russia is a natural wonder of epic proportions. Considered the deepest and oldest lake in the world, its crystal clear waters are home to unique biodiversity. Surrounded by majestic mountains, it offers stunning landscapes and a wide variety of outdoor activities. On the other hand, Moscow, the capital, has the fourth largest number of billionaires in the world. We continue with Ukraine. Its capital is Kiev and it has a population of around 41 million people. Ukraine, known as the breadbasket of Europe for its vast and fertile black soils, is one of the world's largest producers of grain. Its capital, Kiev, one of the oldest cities in Eastern Europe and the birthplace of Kievan Rus, combines a rich history with modern charm. An example of this is the famous Tunnel of Love, an abandoned railway section that has become a magical corner surrounded by vegetation. Ukraine also offers a great diversity of landscapes and tourist attractions such as the majestic Carpathian Mountains or the sunny beaches of the Black Sea. We continue with Belarus. Its capital is Minsk and its population is approximately 9.3 million people. Minsk was almost completely destroyed during World War II, but was impressively rebuilt, becoming a modern European capital. Also known as Green Europe, it is a country of vast forests and rich biodiversity, where the tradition of linen craftsmanship continues to this day. Now we come to Estonia. Its capital is Tallinn and its population is around 1.3 million people. Estonia, a pioneer in digitalization, offers its citizens cutting-edge online public services. At the same time, Tallinn, its capital, preserves a medieval old town declared a World Heritage Site, where history and technology merge in a unique way. We continue with Latvia. Its capital is Riga and its population is approximately 1.9 million people. Riga, an architectural gem, stands out for its medieval old town and impressive Art Nouveau buildings. Latvia, on the other hand, is a country with a rich folk music tradition and vast forests that cover more than half of its territory. We move on to Lithuania. Its capital is Vilnius and its population is around 2.8 million people. Lithuania, a pioneer in the fight for freedom, was the first country to declare its independence from the Soviet Union. The Hill of Crosses, with more than 100,000 crosses, is a testament to the faith and resilience of its people throughout history. Each cross has a story and a special meaning for those who placed it, turning the place into a tourist attraction that receives thousands of pilgrims every year. Now we come to Moldova. Its capital is Chisinau and its population is approximately 2.6 million people. Moldova holds at its heart the Orhil Vechi Monastery, a labyrinth of rock-cut churches and caves that transport us through centuries of medieval religious art history. This rock-cut monastic complex offers a window into Moldova's past. We continue with Armenia. Its capital is Yerevan and its population is around 3 million people. Armenia, the first nation to adopt Christianity, holds Mount Ararat in its heart, a national symbol visible from many parts of the country. At the foot of this sacred mountain lies the Kor Virab Monastery, where Gregory the Illuminator, the Apostle of Armenia, is said to have been imprisoned. We continue with Azerbaijan. 
Its capital is Baku and its population is approximately 10 million people. Azerbaijan is known as the land of fire due to its abundant natural gas reserves. Baku, the capital of Azerbaijan, is a cosmopolitan city on the Caspian Sea coast that dazzles with its futuristic architecture and charming old town. Baku is a vibrant melting pot of cultures, where modern architecture coexists with historical monuments of Persian, Turkish and Russian influences. The Maiden Tower, an ancient monument, is a symbol of the city's rich history and is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. We arrived in Georgia. Its capital is Tbilisi and its population is around 3.7 million people. Georgia, a captivating country, hides the majestic Caucasus in its heart. Mount Kazbek, with its snowy peak that defies the clouds, dominates a landscape full of ancient monasteries and fortresses, which bear witness to the rich history of the region and invite you to contemplate nature in its purest form. Tbilisi, a city that captivates the senses, is home to the fascinating Abano Tabani district, where sulfur baths offer a unique experience. The distinctive aroma and relaxing heat of these thermal waters transport visitors to another era. Now it is Kazakhstan's turn. Its capital is Nur Sultan, formerly known as Astana, and its population is approximately 19 million people. The capital, Nur Sultan, is known for its futuristic architecture, with structures such as the Bayderak, an observation tower that symbolizes the country's growth and development. Turkestan, a jewel of the Silk Road, is home to architectural treasures such as the mausoleum of Koja Ahmed Yasawi, a testament to its glorious past. The city is surrounded by the majestic Altai Mountains and Lake Balkash, the largest in the country, which add a touch of serenity to this dreamlike landscape. We continue with Kyrgyzstan. Its capital is Bishkek and its population is around 6.5 million people. Kyrgyzstan is a paradise for nature lovers, with the majestic Issyk-Kul Lake as its crown jewel. Its crystal clear waters and sandy beaches contrast with the high peaks of the surrounding mountains. The capital, Bishkek, with its Soviet architecture, offers a fascinating cultural contrast. We arrived in Tajikistan. Its capital is Dushanbe and its population is approximately 9.5 million people. Tajikistan, a paradise for adventure lovers, is home to the Pamir Mountains, known as the Roof of the World. With more than 90% of its territory mountainous, this country offers rugged landscapes, towering glaciers and remote valleys, ideal for exploring. Now it is Turkmenistan's turn. Its capital is Ashgabat and its population is around 6 million people. Turkmenistan, one of the world's most isolated countries, has maintained a highly restrictive foreign policy. Its capital, Ashgabat, reflects the government's ambition to build a modern, opulent city, but also its desire for control and secrecy. Turkmenistan is also known for the Gate of Hell, a burning crater in the Karakum Desert. This geological phenomenon is one of the strangest and most fascinating in the world, the result of a natural gas leak that has been burning uninterruptedly for decades. And the last country of the former Soviet Union is Uzbekistan. Its capital is Tashkent and its population is approximately 34 million people. Uzbekistan, a crossroads between east and west, captivates with its rich history, vibrant culture and stunning architecture. Cities such as Samarkand and Bukhara, jewels of the Silk Road, transport us to a glorious past. Tashkent, with its mix of ancient and modern, reflects the dynamic evolution of the country. And so concludes our tour of the countries that emerged from the disintegration of the USSR. Each one with its own history, culture, and peculiarities that make them unique. Which of these countries would you like to visit? Leave us your comment and don't forget to subscribe for more fascinating content.